ஹாய் ஹலோ அண்ட் வணக்கம் யூஆர் லிஸ்னிங் டு தாச்சு ஆன் தி செப்பானேட் பாட்காஸ்ட் பிஃபோர் வி ஸ்டார்ட் ஆஃப் மேக் ஷோர் யூ ஃபாலோ மீ ஆன் இன்ஸ்டாகிராம் ஐ அப்டேட் ஆன் நியூ எபிசோட்ஸ் அப்கமிங் எபிசோட்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ ஹிட் மீ அப் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டாக் அபவுட் சம்திங் வித் தேட் அவுட் ஆஃப் தி வே லெஸ் ஜம்ப் இன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அவர் சேலரி அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஒர்க் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஆர் கண்டென்ட் வித் அவர் பே ஆஸ் லாங் அஸ் சம் ஒன் எல்ஸ் மென்ஷன்ஸ் வாட் தே ஆர் ஏர்னிங் the moment we come to know the salary of our peers we start questioning so many things in our life whether we are in the correct position company if we should switch jobs to get a similar pay sometimes we even start to question our career choices most of us especially boys have not just been told but advised that earning more is the ultimatum of life they are expected to work their entire lives and god forbid if they are earning less than their relatives or friends they will not hear the end of it of course there's nothing wrong with pursuing this what matters is at what cost this is a very gray area because the economic status of the person matters a lot i just want to give my two cents based on my experience here i expected myself to be definitely earning more than i am right now i in fact wanted to buy a car by the time i got married i couldn't even afford to buy a bike back then but i did pay for a few things in my wedding and ended up with just 600 rupees by the time i got married as i had already said i started off with very little pay i'm sure most of my classmates did it was less than how much my peers from other domains were getting i would be lying if i said that it didn't bother me i used to feel inferior to them and and most of my career i felt like nothing but a failure i did not even have proper benefits i studied engineering and i was told it was a big deal One day I was really down and sad and started crying and blaming others. I thought it was because my dad did not let me pursue higher education or it was probably because no one really guided me on my career path. No one gave me options. I had to figure out everything by myself. I had an entire family of people who excelled in a lot of things career wise, but no one sat me down to ask what my career plans were or what I could do. Now that I think of it maybe they didn't really bother much because I was a girl I don't know really and I don't want to jump into blind conclusions I figured things out all by myself and it honestly sucked At the end of the cry fest one thing came to light somewhere somehow it all happened because of either my fault or someone else's So I started finding the positive things in my life There are a lot of things that matter and can be taken as a professional success other than just salary So, I started listing the things that mattered to me. The first question was job satisfaction. Did what I was doing make me happy? It did. This was about 4 years back. At the time I was enthusiastic and happy about my job. I was eager to learn new tools, understand why we were doing what we were doing, and did a lot of learning to constantly upgrade myself. So, that was a yes for job satisfaction. The next was work life balance. This mattered a lot to me even 5 years back. Even though I worked 6 days a week, I had a good work-life balance. I got time to try new things, had new hobbies and worked out pretty regularly. So, work-life balance was a yes, but I did wish I had a 5-day work week. I missed out on a lot of things at home because Saturdays are when we usually go out as a family. But I chose to be in the service industry and it is a norm there. So, it is okay. Third was work pressure. One interesting thing about work pressure is the lesser you are paid, the lesser the work pressure you get. No one called me out of office as back then. No one bothered me on the weekends or holidays. So it was a win-win situation. Now, while comparing this with my higher paid friends, I was not rich in terms of money, but I was definitely richer in other aspect of life. I have met people who would always be on calls even during vacations. They were expected to be online even when they were on leave. I did not want that. So, I redefined my professional success. I do feel sad when I cannot afford certain things, but when I see the bigger picture of life, I feel okay. I'm not poor. I just cannot splurge on things whenever I want. Based on what you studied, what degree you hold and where you are in your career, your salary will vary amongst your peers. Remember, comparison is the death of progress and growth. Higher salary is equal to success is what the society defines. When it comes to your life, be it happiness or success, it is what you define it to be. 
As long as you have a roof over your head, food on your plate and a toilet to poop in peace, you are richer than half the world. So, the next time you feel sad that you're not earning as much as your peers, do this. Reevaluate your definition of success. There must be a reason as to why you are wherever you are. Jot down the things that make you happy on the job. If you have a work-life balance and job satisfaction, that is going to help you sleep peacefully at night. If you are really bothered about your salary or if you cannot take any positives from your job and if it is not making you happy, it is probably time to reevaluate your career decision. There was a lot of downfall that came along with the pandemic, but a lot of people did career switches after the pandemic. People saw the opportunity of remote jobs. It gave better work-life balance, less time and money wasted on commuting and so much more. I recently got in touch with a UX designer on LinkedIn who was working as a dentist before. How wild is that? It is said that an average person changes their career at least 4 times in their lifetime. So, it is okay if wherever you are right now is not making you happy. That is time for you to make a switch and start to work. But do it for yourself. Don't do it because it doesn't agree with others. Having a happy and fulfilling career is as important as having a happy and a fulfilling life. And if you don't have a career and that is what is making you happy and fulfilled, that is okay too. I will let you sip on it for now and see you in the next one. Bye.